Hello. In this series of videos, we are going to talk about um, new building blocks for MOSFET circuits um, that are more appropriate for IC design. So we have seen for the design of MOSFET circuits, just as we saw for BJT circuits in the past, um, the circuits can be classified into discrete circuits that use discrete components. Typically, they're built on a PCB board versus integrated circuits or ICs, uh, which are built on a single piece of silicon. Uh, and they're typically packaged like a, like a chip, like an IC. Uh, the design techniques are going to be different for discrete circuits and for IC circuits because the conditions and characteristics uh, for both types of circuits are different. In the case of discrete circuits, uh, the design techniques are going to uh, rely on the use of resistors, capacitors, and transistors. Um, they are going to rely on um, good absolute accuracy of components. Since we are able to find resistors, capacitors, etc. that have good, relatively good absolute accuracy. Um, and so we're going to be using techniques uh, such as the four resistor biasing network that we have seen. Um, and we're going to be using uh, the standard transistor amplifier circuits, the common gate, common drain, common source uh, that we have talked about to design typically AC coupled amplifiers. So we're going to be connecting coupling and bypass capacitors and all that. In integrated circuits, um, we are going to use preferably transistors. Um, there are space issues associated with the use of uh, resistors, especially large resistors, as well as capacitors. And so we're going to try to minimize the use of those components uh, and use design techniques that minimize the use of those components, as well as um, we're going to have poor absolute accuracy of components due to process variations, but uh, good relative accuracy or good matching uh, between components that are built on the same chip. And so we're going to rely on circuits and circuit uh, blocks whose performance is more dependent on <clears throat> good matching and good symmetry than it is on absolute accuracy of uh, single value, single components. And so, uh, for example, in integrated circuits, um, so I see design techniques, we could call it. So for example, for biasing, um, we're going to use current mirrors as opposed to the four resistor biasing network. Um, we're also going to use um, active loads, which is another application of current mirrors as opposed to uh, resistive loads. And uh, in the design of uh, amplifiers, we're using MOSFETs in ICs, we're going to use the differential amplifier block as a, as a common building block because it relies on that symmetry, uh, on that matching between the two sides of the circuit. Um, and that's it. So in this particular week, uh, this series of lectures, we are going to be talking about the use of current mirrors uh, to bias MOSFET circuits, the use of current mirrors as active loads in MOSFET circuits, as well as the differential amplifier block using MOSFET transistors. Thank you.